Marksmen are coming off the first of three straight weekends in which they will play three and three contest. Unfortunately for the Marksmen, they fell 0 and 3 this last weekend. I'm Ben Garrett back here for the first command coach's interview. Yeah, no, I mean, last weekend was it was a disappointing weekend for us. Um, you know, we came into the weekend thinking that we had an opportunity here to win a couple of games against Roanoke and put ourselves in, in a closer spot there for the for the final playoff spot. And, um, you know, things just kind of got away from us a little bit there. We, you know, we were going we were going hard there in the in the first period at home on, on Thursday. And uh, and then we kind of got ourselves into some penalty trouble and stuff and, and things kind of digress from there uh, and then you know the next night in Roanoke we we came out same thing and and put a, you know a, a decent effort in and, and, and we got all over um, Matt Zenzola there in the first period um, against them in Roanoke and and we you know got a 3-1 lead and then they put Brad Brown in and, and things kind of changed from there you know we're just we're in that same mode there where we're just you know we're doing the right things, you know, and but we're just not doing them for long enough. We're not doing them for the whole 60-minute game, and, and and it's wind up it winds up costing us. In an effort to solidify their defensive core, the marksmen have added rookie defenseman Troy Henley. The 21-year-old is a four-year standout of the AOHL, suiting up for the Ottawa 67s, the Peterborough Peets, and the Saginaw Spirit. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited. Uh, you know, this is this is uh, an awesome experience. Uh, this is my first time uh, being at this level. Uh, but I, I do have some major junior experience, but uh, again, this is a step up uh, from where I was playing, and I'm excited to get started with the boys. I consider myself a two-way defenseman. Uh, I like to, to join the rush when I have the opportunity, um, but I also like to, to stay back and block shots and play physical in front of the net. Despite the outcome on the ice, one positive from this weekend, the Marksman's first ever Pink in the Rink night. On Friday, we invited fans out to paint messages of inspiration to those battling breast cancer. And then on Saturday, when we took on the Make and Mayhem, our players donned very special jerseys that we auctioned out after the game. Oh, it was good. It was it was a really good night. It was a good crowd. The crowd was lively too for us. You know, they got behind the guys there and, and we're trying to urge them on. You know, and it's fun to play in front of a big crowd like that. So I think that was a lot of energy. And that was our third game of three nights. So the guys came out with a lot of energy. They played really well. And uh, obviously we, we came up short there in, in a 3-2 loss to Macon here at home on, on that night. But I, I think the crowd had a good time and it was a pretty exciting game. Um, you know, for the most part, I mean, we obviously we like to win games, and we want to start winning games more more often than than not. And we're going to need to in order to make a playoff spot here coming up with the next 18 games that are left. So um, we just got to keep plugging away here, and and we got and, you know a couple of new additions coming hopefully, and and then they're going to help us get ourselves over the hump there.